You are now live. Hi guys. Hi guys. Thanks for catching our live. Okay, right now we are here in our second new office over at Oxley. In fact, I believe some of the owners have already been here. Lah. So we have been waiting for our very, very important, um, a very important things to arrive. Later we will show it to you. So, uh, I guess uh, let's just wait a while more for more people to join us. Thanks for your time today, everyone, for joining our live. I understand that it's dinner timing. So, uh, okay, so give us maybe one, two minutes more. How, how's everyone? Is, have everyone taken our dinner? And yeah, there you go. Okay, ma. Okay. Okay, you just give me a signal when we should start. Hi guys, thanks everyone, thank you for joining us again. Like I say, uh, we're well, right now that we are in our new office over at Oxley this hub. And this, uh, we have taken out this space, uh, we call it our material lab. Okay, because uh, most of our samples are over here. Uh, it's, it's much bigger compared to our office over at Tanjong Paga. We are still having an office over there. Uh, mainly for like first appointment or for some meetings like so over here is mainly for like a material discussion and of course it's for our like recreation like, chill time mm. yeah later we will show you some of the special feature here in this space itself okay so yeah thanks thank you everyone for joining thank you everyone for joining yeah it's, okay okay so shall we start the tour yay okay Thanks for joining. Okay, so what you are seeing here over here is uh, it's our main door. This is where we came in from now. Okay, so for our door, like uh, for this space, it's a bit of a um, it's a bit of a wabi sabi theme, but it's um, very lighter color tone theme that we are going here, mm -hmm. and uh, we really like the um, high ceiling of the space. We want to preserve the openness itself of this space. Is uh, so we have uh, opt to go for uh, lighter shades like later as you go around the space you will realize that there is a lot of white yeah for example even our main door it used to be grey color we have not chose to paint it uh, whatever we can uh, over here we have to try to keep it really white okay including the flooring itself okay so that uh, it used to be like cement screen flooring so what we did is uh, we opt to like paint it like uh, with epoxy, epoxy paint and have it painted um, in a white color, a special uh, color that uh, we have uh, selected. So it's not a pure white, it's a bit of an off-white cream color. Okay, and uh, over here as you can see just now where we came from, this is, um, we have by this Sally online, just arrived today. And uh, we are so happy with it. It's like a rattan kind of bench. So later you 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 realize that a lot of our furniture here, uh, we try to incorporate some like um, really uh, natural and raw elements in it, while trying to keep the modernity of the space as well. I mean, it's of the design. Okay. So okay, now that you have seen this. I think Bo holding a camera is very excited to show you the rest of our space also. So, ta -da! Check it out! Okay, so, like I say, we, uh, we, we want to keep the openness of the space itself. And, uh, which is why uh, we have specially, because the, if you realize our space is a bit of an angle. So we have specifically right, designed it in such a way where once you enter, there is a left and right um, floor lighting, LED floor lighting that is embedded uh, on the left and right. Yeah. So we have used lighting design to segment out our space to create the, the, the sense of like a, like a longitude. So to make the space look like longish, okay. So lighting to drop space, whereby in the middle would be our main feature. Whereby we always wanted, we always like to have um, like a very big, like a space, very big table, so to speak. 
I say like this, they know the width is about 1.2, 1 1.3 if I remember correctly. Okay, and uh, so we can, uh, when doing our material discussion, uh, we can lay out all the materials here, and, uh, and that's really fantastic, it's really good space. And what I really like about this table is also the design of it, whereby we have, uh, have it like a, make it like a half circle at the edge here. So it doesn't look too intimidating, especially when it's so near to the entrance itself, so you don't want to feel like it's very, yeah, in your face. So we try to get rid of all the edges. Yeah, for all the edges itself, including like uh, the, the legs, the legs itself. This is a cylinder design, legs for our island, okay? So one, one of the purpose for having this um, circular finishing at the side is also like for example during dining okay it's, it's quite it's quite wide so with this it almost seems like you're dining on a like a round table yeah so everyone can reach the food quite easily mm. yeah so because we use this space like and say like for work and for chill for like, gathering <laughs> Yeah, anything. Okay, maybe you can share about what material we are using for the tabletop. Okay, for this tabletop, right, we are using a, a seal stone. And um, I really love it because I, I really like the side profile of it. Yeah. So, and one thing about seal stone is you are like, uh, like marble. You are able to have the green continue to the side itself. And if you realize this, this profile is made up of um, two slabs. Okay, yeah, two slabs over here. You can see some joint line, especially on the round, rounded areas. But it's not really that obvious. But once it comes to the straight profile here, right? You literally, you can't see any joint line. Yeah, they, they, they really blend it perfectly. Yeah, so it look gorgeous. Okay, so lovely paper. I love it and as you guys know that uh, us designer we like to work uh, like hot desk format la, so we don't have a dedicated desk so this space is really welcome for everyone to use like right now you are seeing like uh, Desiree and Ender say hi to the camera okay so they are working here so everyone just enjoy this space so much okay so as you come over here Okay, on, uh, I'll show you what's behind here later on. Basically, that's where all our materials and samples is. But before that, let's just come over here and take a look at our special feature that uh, we have been waiting for it to arrive before we do this tour. Okay, so we have uh, specially customized and imported in this 3.5 meter tall tree. Okay, because we want, we really, really like the the apple store effect, the the trees inside that like, and interior space. That that is really one of our dream. If you have been following us for some time, you will realize how many trees we have already experimented <laughs> with. And finally, we we think that um this is perfect. Yeah, this is the perfect tree that uh we have uh, done in our design so far. In fact, before this tree arrived, right, um, we have customized this really huge, gigantic, like a planter pot, okay, that is uh, apparently it's come with cement finishing, so we want to create that uh, cement pot effect. But if we were to use um, real cement pots with this size, right, it would be super um, heavy. It would be super heavy and it would be uh, pretty costly. So what we did is uh, we have our carpenter to to mold up the, the structure itself. Then we DIY uh, thanks to Clover Space for the help. We DIY the the surface. To in fact, it's painted the like to make it have that cement finishing. Mm. So overall, it looked like a cement pot. We should give the tree a name. Oh, you should give the tree a name. Someone, someone say that. Me. <laughs> huh? oh, Me. Oh, you say that. All oh, right. 
you <laughs> lor. <laughs> just like my hair la. So yeah. Cute. Yeah. So it, it, before this tree arrived, right? Everyone that came to office just like to joke and say that. Then how come you guys have a well? Yeah. Like is this a well or is this like a bit? No lah. It's a big. Uh, giant planter pot. Yeah, it's a fake tree, artificial yeah, one. Yeah, it's an artificial tree. We before we decided on this, we have visited like quite a few, uh, like nursery to ask them uh, what trees that I want like super tall. I want really tall and uh, not too bushy, mm. but I want it to. I want the green to be mainly focused on top. Mm. Yeah, and I want a really tall trunk. Mm. Yeah, so it will shape out the space nicely. And we couldn't find one uh, for many reasons, like uh, sunlight and uh, water system and stuff like that. So ultimately, we decided to go for a uh, artificial tree instead. Okay. So okay, now since we are over here, we have seen our island table. Okay. So for the design for this, um, it's a split level thing, okay, it's a split level design on top here, it's island with a quad surface, and over at the other side is a um, dining table height. Oh. Maybe you can go there? We can, uh, can we go there? Mm. Sure. Okay. So over here, okay, we have uh, Jun Yuan working here as well, say hi. Okay. okay. Now, be, uh, because I, I really like um, a wood slab. Um, okay. So I really like wood slab design. And as you know, right, just now I said in front, uh, our width of the table is about 1.3. So most of the slab maximum size is maybe about 1 or max 1.2, but uh, 1.1. But I need this width. So what I did is, I have um, customized two pieces, two slabs itself. Okay, and I also wanted um, like one of the sides to be straight profile so I can join two slabs together. And the other side, I like the natural uh, gradient of the wood surface itself. Yeah, so this slab is something that we have. Uh, we have ordered and we have experiment with like and we are very happy with it. And one thing about uh, one thing about wood that I like is the natural color and the natural green of it all. Yeah. Do you guys like the chair? I choose one. Mm. <laughs> yeah, the chair is by bow. Uh, it's, it's so, so cute. cute. And look, it's, it's complement everything nicely. Yeah, so, and I also like how our carpenter managed, because the set, as you can see, is quite thick. Okay, and I, we have to design it in a way whereby it really tailored to the shape of the, of the planter pot. It's like, as you can see here, right, half of it is the island. Mm. So, uh, the quartz surface itself has to really create half of the semicircle. Uh, it's like a semicircle. And then half of the circle is by the wood law. Mm. So, so every, if in future you want to change the plants, then we can just move the island. Mm. Yeah. Move the table away. Yeah, move the table because the island is heavy. So island is fixed. Mm. Yeah, this, but this is movable. And it's supported by just one wood slab over here. Yeah, just wood, one wood slab at the side. Mm. Okay. Right, so over here, uh, boy, you can take a step back to see the whole structure itself. Okay. Just to see that for me, yeah. Okay, kind of looks Yeah. Yeah, so this would be our main work area. Yeah, working area. Okay. So before we show you guys our recreation space, Okay, maybe I'll show you what is behind here. Okay, boy, you can come over to show the guy. Okay, now, before I open up, do I grab, do our grand opening here? Okay, um, I, really want, I really want to show you guys this uh, uh, fabric curtain itself. We are using day curtain to conceal out uh, all the, all the uh, materials inside. 
because I want to give our space a very clean look. And one thing you realize, right, is that um, for curtain, you see our day curtain, even though it's very light, but you can see the very nice lines straight down. This is because uh, we opt for something called the S track, like the S track system. So you see all this really nice S line uh, of the curtain. So everything looks very neat and very pretty. Okay, so I mean, this is something that uh, you guys can consider, like, if you don't mind, like, investing a bit more so you can see the very hotel ish yeah. kind of. Um, but it, yeah, if you want to use for your house, you have to tap not on the uh, the depth of the track because it will eat out quite a lot of space. Mm. Mm. Okay, so now that uh, it's this space, okay, now let's grab the time. Well, before I start on the, on the shop itself, I really like this part. And as you know, that um, like we said, it in two portions. So you see, uh, across this line, what we did is we have um, designed it with a lot of pe pebbles, flooring, and we have also imported all these steps, okay, huge stone slab that act as uh, like a flooring or something. Uh, Okay, so it creates some texture, some very um, outdoor kind of vibe to the space. Yeah, so it really complements the greenery, the floor, everything. Yeah, it's just fun. Okay, so over here we have our curtain sample. We okay, have uh, um, from the fitting from our curtain suppliers, fabric sample. Like over here. So special shout out to Buffing. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, thanks for providing us with all these samples to facilitate our, our work. So yeah, we really appreciate that. And uh, we also have like uh, lemonades from yeah different suppliers. Different suppliers. Suppliers. We have a wallpaper. Uh, wallpaper in fact he took out a huge chunk of our space. <laughs> yeah. Because there's just so much. <laughs> yeah. Just so much wallpapers, and of course we have some tabletop, like the uh, stone. Of course, there will be more. Okay, and we also have some uh, props and accessories uh, left over from our previous project. And uh, in fact, going forward, uh, we are just thinking that uh, maybe we can do some like, uh, you know, live auction to let you guys help us. <laughs> Clear off all these items, whatever you want, like starting from one dollar. Okay, anyone want this? Uh, Aq so, is selling this. Aq is selling this. So anyone who uh, you watch me do a live auction, just let me know. Okay, because we have uh, a lot of goodies to clear away. Okay, so next coming over here would be uh, this very nice organizer for our stationery, and I really like this pen thing. It's like popular store, you know. Yeah, and oh, check out all this. Yeah, stapler. Oh, this, this is so pretty. Look at the staple. Oh my god. Yeah, pretty, right? Okay. Now, over here, we have all this box set whereby we have all our A4 laminates. And uh, thanks to the team that uh, helped to organize nicely, different texture, different, um, yeah, different type. For, for selection. Yeah, so it's like a very zhong yao format, huh? Mm. Yeah. But this by is tang sen, ah, tang sen. And this is gou ji. <laughs> and this is I don't know what. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so, yeah, very organized. And I love it, especially when it comes to our material selection. This is very helpful. This will be super helpful. Okay. Okay, how about? So, uh, the. We have done with the serious part. Okay. Now for our recreational content, which is over there. Bo, you want to do the tour? You want to take it over? Uh, I think you can continue, I continue. because I. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> sure, sure, I'll do it. Okay. Now, this 
part of the space will be where we um, our designers, our friends, we guys um, rest and uh, yeah, very chill around. In fact, over here is our like a TV feature wall. Okay, but we keep it plain because we don't have any TV. What we do have is a projector. Yeah. Whereby we used to uh, do like some Netflix or like, mm. watch movie mm. or even like uh, we have a popsicle system whereby we do karaoke here as well. So yeah, we, we, I keep this worldwide uh, to to uh, to let our projector mm. uh, flash on it. And also for our TV console, uh, we have imported like two huge blocks of wood, okay, to act as a uh, TV console. Lor. Yeah. This is F heavy. Yeah, this is like really legit. Even AQ also eh? have problems. Oh my god, AQ. AQ is you did strong it. Oh my god. Yeah, okay. Suddenly, <laughs> <laughs> AQ got strength to push this. Yes, yeah. But oh my it's god. Okay. Uh, okay. So, as you can see, our main um, hall area. There is no sofa, so basically it's it just all oh, bin bags, bin bags, bin bags everywhere. Mm. Yeah, with a nice modular bin bags. Bin bags here. Bye bye. <laughs> yeah, dine and chill. Okay, so over here this side we have more um, table space. Hot desk table. Mm. Yeah, for for work or recreation. Or yeah, whatever you want to do. Mm. Yeah. And it's very good when uh daytime, right, to choose material because the daylight comes from the uh, yeah. wind. Uh, what mm. we like is, uh, you have this like, huge, yeah, about from this high ceiling, I really like uh, like large uh, window panel so you can have maximum sunlight coming in during the daytime. Uh. Okay, so yeah, all, all these are all, all these are loose furniture lah, basically. So you can like mix and match. You can join them together to create a huge table. Yeah, okay. And uh, this angle here, the last time there used to be a, a partition here whereby they create a, yeah. a conventional like a, a CEO or manager room whereby sure. no lah, we don't have CEO or all this concept. We got a queue. Yeah, we got a queue or no no CEO. Okay, so everything I want it to be open concept. So on the corner here will be our pantry space. Of, okay, uh, just a simple pantry space. Like, if I would have this, very cute water dispenser. Okay, and we have this uh, very retro microwave. Okay, so uh, very simple design. Mm. And uh, what I like is that uh, you see for our backing, right? Instead of going like full height go up, right? Uh, we have it like a one third is laminate, and the rest is um, the uh, Dacton yeah, that turn. Yeah, that turn. To create that contrast. Yeah. Then after we have a ledge on top where we can display some stuff. Mm. Okay. And yeah. Personally, I really love the laminate of these. Now it's night time, so you mm. can't really see very clearly, but the texture looks a bit rusty and the design of it, I'm super yeah, lucky. I think it's the same. I mean, yeah, yeah. you can kind of see whether you can see it clearly. Mm. Okay, and last but not least is we have um, yeah, a Our very retro fridge. retro fridge here whereby we Okay, it's basically it's a lot of alcohol, la, so <laughs> yeah, especially this, okay. Yeah, this is something that really, every time it knocks us out, okay, but, but it's good, it's just that it knocks people out without you realizing it. Maybe it's just me, I suck, <coughs> okay. Okay, so I guess you have seen our very cozy and um, homely office. Thank you for uh, catching us today. And uh, okay, come over here for a last degree. And uh, yeah, we are, we are so happy that uh, after 
um, after so long, this place has finally like uh, come together nicely. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, 最后一个地方, we have not show you guys our bathroom. Okay. So yeah. Okay. This space here, as you can see, the panel flooring and stone steps again designed and come here that leads to our bathroom. Okay. Okay, come on in. Okay, now for our bathroom, uh, what you see here is instead of a, a conventional vanity um, like a cabinet, right? We decided that hey, we, we don't need that actually. So we have ought to have a standing basin instead. And I really like this very uh, modern and uh, minimalist uh, basin. Where we have it rest at this corner. And now, check this out. This is our ceiling mounted, okay, uh, cap. Okay, now, um, while you guys are at it, and since I'm doing the intro, introduction for our bathroom maybe i'll teach you guys next time that is coming to our office uh, how to use this step okay because there is some owners are uh, uh, many different type of pattern one uh, okay some uh, they come they like that this one uh, is not sensor one uh, so no water will come out if you like that half an hour also no water okay then number two don't do this okay don't like that like that boom. <laughs> You pull this one will spoil, and also no water will come out. Okay, so as you can see, the fragile one, don't pull, don't pull my pet. Okay, now where is the mixer? So the mixer, in fact, is at this corner here. Okay, so you open, water come out. Yes. Okay, so this is how you operate this lovely tap. I really like it. Okay. As you can see, um, it is slightly slanted, so we have got this, this mirror to place at the side. So you use it instead of like this because the wall is slanted. Ma. So Akil will see my hair like that oh, at, at a corner. Oh. Mm. And in fact, this is a very, very um, uh, simple and cheap mirror from IKEA. And it, it used to be wood, but uh, I also DIY painted it like cement. So you, you, you have a, like a cement print that match this bathroom nicely. So another thing that you realize for my bathroom because I'm running on a very tight budget. So what I did is I didn't do any tiling work except for the flooring. But before you see the flooring, I want to show you to the walls. Okay, bone in case thing I then okay. Now you see it used to have the really uh, original tiles lah. So what I did is I ordered this special textured uh, paint in and have our toddler painted it to create this very raw um, very raw uh, texture which we really love it a lot okay so basically it's uh, the entire surface except for flooring yeah, except for flooring now another uh, specialty here that i'll show you will be our shower area so you have seen our vanity is really very modern uh, kind of fittings right now for our shower is really something different okay now here is our shower set no! uh, instead of the very conventional rain shower system that we always use right uh, over here we have decided to go for something more fun yeah so we have uh, do all this like brass copper piping for the hot cold tap and have it like designed like this so to act as the rain shower so you have a very vintage uh, touch to it yeah hey. it a very vintage touch to this uh, a very unique and uh, organic kind of uh, bathroom look. so for our shampoo right we also have this very slim black shower we like our things very very slim right now. so i'm very happy with this shower yeah, so the same uh, design language have also spilled over, for example, to a toilet roll holder as well. Yeah. So, yeah, I really like this bathroom.
Okay. Yeah, I cover um, our entire space. Thank you guys so much again for watching and um, yeah. If you guys have any comment or any questions, feel free to let us know. And uh, we welcome you guys. We look forward to meeting you guys over at this place. Uh, we can have a meeting, we can have chill, we can uh, yeah, have some uh, good time, good vibes. Yeah. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Yeah, it's that. No other question. Good night. And uh, see you guys in the next live. Okay, everyone say goodbye. Bye. 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 Thank you. you. Say bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'm the dresser. <laughs> okay.